Hello, good afternoon. Very pleased for me to be here because it's I think in uh, the second time I'm in tax tax program was in Jakarta six years ago, very long time ago. Uh, my topic is lightning. Lightning. What is lightning? Who will learn about lightning? Nobody. So the first time I came to Munich, Germany, I have been asked by my professor, you really want to learn lightning? I said yes. Because before the professor said that nobody knows yet about the tropical lightning parameters. Why? Does nobody want to research about that? No supervisor in Indonesia and also no location for the research. Need a lot of money. But I said, somebody has to start the work. So I, I did the work up till now. And yeah, you know that it's a very long time ago. Yeah, and now a lot of people have learned about, uh, learned about lightning. It's very, very uh, happy because uh, lightning is now uh, very popular. Why? Because the damages. Uh, lightning create a lot of damages. But I told them that lightning is our friends. They create also, they create also nitrate for our life. And when you see this, I will start my presentation. With, this is a cloud, unbelievable. See where before we see that the lightning have 15 kilometers long and only five centimeters thick. But this is the uh, violence power of the uh, uh, electric source on the world. In the world, you see that that uh, this cloud. You see that there is a, a typical waveform, the cloud of lightning that we call that cumulonimbus. The people say that the, the lightning cloud. We have to see the base cloud and also the high. Why is tropical lightning? Because it's higher. The cloud is higher than the subtropical lightning. Subtropical lightning, we got only 14 kilometer high. So the chart inside is because it speaks as a tropical country that they have about 70, 17 kilometer high. So it means the lightning in tropics is different than the lighting in subtropical. And it is make the protection system that the, the, the main damage is, is uh, uh, very dangerous in our country. Can you see this? This is the bow. About 10,000 lighting bow each day in the world. And every second, 100 lighting bow around the world. So it means that they give the very high energy to the surrounding area. But as we see that this, this lighting is not easy to be. We, we, can, we, can, we can capture it, we can imitate on the lab. And also uh, we can measure it, but we never can control the lighting. This is a violence power of the uh, lightning itself. And you see this, this is why, why we have the lightning, because we have the heat, we have the sun, we have the uh, moistures. The light, the suns hit the, hit this, hit this what we call the surface, and the updraft is there. They bring the aerosol, and also they bring the moisture up. On the uh, zero uh, Celsius centigrade uh, and uh, 30, minus 30 uh, centigrade then to become the water and then become the ice and up again they become the crust crystal. And it is very, heavy, uh, very, very uh, heavy and they are going down to the ground. You see like this. And there is a collusion. This collusion creates a chart, positive part, positive chart in the 
upper part and the negative charge in the lower part of the cloud. So when it is already stable, this is the what we call the lightning fall generally. Because in, in tropical countries it's a little bit different. You see that when you have the electric negative charge above above you, above the ground, and they will induce the positive charge on the ground. So it means that there is a voltage difference in between. It can reach about 2 million volt. And the current, the uh, voltage is very high and it will jump. Then the bolt of lightning has been created. And we see that this one is the lightning itself. You see that. When you see the branches are going down to the ground like this, there's a mean the lightning has come from the cloud to the ground. So you say it uh, downward leader. When it's going up to the cloud, and we call it the uh, upward leader. So it means the lightning has positive, negative, has a downward, and has an upward leader. So it means that statistically, the negative downward is the most lightning that we have in the world. So you see that? When you see the lightning, you can calculate that. It means that you see the light and you start to count. One, two, three seconds. See. And then you see also the sound. Because the speed of the sound and the speed of the light is different. So it means when you have already calculated, you can divide it with three. And you got, let's say, three seconds, you got, you divide it to three and you got uh, one miles. 1.6 kilometer. So when you see the lightning, light and sound is very near. If in the lightning itself, the bolt is very near from you. So the question is, when you don't see the light, you don't, you don't hear the sound. Where is the lightning? It's directly above you, so be careful. So it means that Lightning is very dangerous uh, uh, threat, very dangerous threat to us, and you see that they can hit anybody, including the people. This is how the people can be hit by lightning. You see that for touch voltage is number one. Uh, so when you say that's a building or there's a trees. You are not allowed to touch that. Why? Because when the lightning strikes the higher objects, and the lightning will flow through you. Or this one, indirect strike. It's not far from you. The problem with your hearing, your eyes, yeah, and your heart also. So it means that this is the problem. And direct strike. Of course, it's direct strike. You hit directly by lightning. It's, it's really terrible. And the fourth see that is a side flash. We are not allowed to stay near the higher object, less than 1.5 meters. Yeah? And then it means that when the lightning strike the trees, or lightning strike the, the tower, or the high structure, they can, they can go through you, what we call that side flash. Or step voltage. The lightning hit near you, and the step is one here near to the lightning, the other is the other side, and there's a voltage different. And the current will flow through your heart, and the rhythm of the fight is different, and you will collapse. So step voltage is, is uh, very dangerous. Somebody, uh, nobody will realize that sometimes. So, not only the peoples, but also all the equipment, electronic equipment, due to the fact that lightning impulse give what we call the uh, electromagnetic wave. They got an electric field and they got also the magnetic field. So they can destroy your equipment. You see that any, any equipment based on electronic and microprocessor will be damaged by the electromagnetic force coming from one. 
and our our world now is smart home, smart city, smart car. Everything is smart. Is it is electronic and microprocessor. Do you realize that when this equipment installed in Indonesia, without considering the lighting that we have, more more than subtropical lighting, it will be damaged. So that's why the problem, not only the direct strike, but also indirect strike, coming from induction or conduction to the wire, to the telephone cable, to the electrical current, or a voltage elevation because the equipment are not far from the direct strike. So it means that we have to do something to protect the equipment. The problem is, we you know already the protection system, but it is made, it is created on the subtropical country. So all of our standards based on this subtropical uh, standard. So it means when this equipment installed in Indonesia, they will get a lot of problem with our lighting. So we said that we have to be beyond this standard. So what will we do? We have to make the research. We have a lot of research now, for example, like we did now here. This is the research of natural lightning. We make we have the lightning measurement station, the first in the world, located in the tropical country. It's in Mount Tanku and about 20, 23 meters above the, the seas. So it means that it's, it's okay. There's just a lot of lighting in this area. So from this measurement system, we can measure the lightning uh, parameters in the tropical country. And it differs. It's higher, it's bigger, it's more stiff. It's dangerous for the electric, electronics. This is uh, how we measure the natural lightning. But we can measure also by using the rocket triggered lightning. So we launch the rocket with the wire and then going up to the cloud and then hit by lightning. The lightning will flow through the wire to the ground and we can measure it. The aim of this uh, uh, research is to get the tropical lightning parameter and also to get the impact of this lightning to the equipment nearby. So it means that uh, transmission system, distribution system, telecommunication, everything. It's very good because we know the lightning, the location of the lightning. We know the height of the current. Also, we can measure it easily. Then, now, we have it in the Jatiluhur Lake. Cooperating research with the Russian and also the French. And the other is we use this, what we call lightning detection system. Lightning detection system we use because of the, of the traveling wave of the impulse from lightning. When you throw the stone, the stone to the Water, you will get this wave. The lightning is like that. So we just put the sensor, at least three sensors in different places, and we can locate the lightning, lightning location. And the lightning coming from the cloud. Cloud is moving. So we can track the lightning. So the equipment name is lightning position and tracking system. We need the two satellites. GPS satellite for the time coordination for this sensor and also we did also the uh, uh, communication satellite to the central analyzer we put in IGB. So this is uh, our research and this is the data, our research result. Yeah, see that? This is the density of the lightning. You know, West Java is just open yesterday, the Kertajati Airport. Where is the Kertajati? Here. In the capital, capital of lightning density, the highest lightning density in Java Island. What it means, be careful. <laughs> and it's our research. 
Yeah, when you see that. This has been measured with the normal camera, and this is with the, the high-speed camera. And this is the result. Yes. It's a correcting leader. This is a, so we can know which one will the leader will touch this one. This is the scene. We can measure the speed of the uh, upward leader or downward leader. And you see, this is the result. Our research now is widely used in Indonesia. Innovation of the, for the protection of tropical lighting. And you see this? This is a control trigger lighting. See. This is the other. People have a long time since that can we drive? Can we drive the power from the lightning? Yes and no. No, because the lightning is high, 200,000 amp, but very short microsecond. So the energy is very low. But the lightning channel has the temperature 10,000 degrees Celsius. So we built the skeleton tower from uh, very high uh, material. We collect the lightning, and you see that become hydrogen and and uh, oxygen, and then we, we call it hydrogen fuel. We collect it in this turbine and into uh, tank and to drive the turbine. So this is our slide. You want to fly from Kepedet? <laughs> what is your suggestion? No, don't fly from there. Why? Because it's located in the highest lightning density in the Java Island. When I present this is so the south of the Department of Transport, they said that we cannot change the place. No. You are not necessarily to change the world, but you are more aware to protect the system and to keep the lightning detection system to detect are we allowed to uh, land it or to take off. Because the dangerous point of the airplane is really when they are take off or they are landing. Because they are in the point of sight. Upper leader are going up, down the leader are going down. So they are in the point of sight. So, you want to fly? <laughs> <laughs> well, there is always a solution. Thank you very much.